Hey there guys, Ishak from Shectic here and welcome to a brand new video. Uh, I've been looking at some of my previous comments in the last few videos and a lot of people have been asking how do you do a green screen in OBS? And also if you've been following my previous videos, by doing this you'll be able to use a green screen in any of your video conferencing tools such as Google Hangouts, uh, uh, Microsoft Teams, Zoom, etc. By using the green screen tool in OBS you're able to have a little bit more con control and customizability as opposed to some of the uh, built-in features in some of these video conferencing tools. So let's take a look. It's really simple to do in OBS. It's just a matter of a few clicks here. So what I've done here is I've created a new scene here um, beforehand called green screen tutorial. All you have to do is click the plus button. That creates a screen for you. Then in the scene itself, you want to go into the sources box here and click the plus button and click create a video capture device. Now, a video capture device, what it does is it adds a webcam. Uh, it can be a webcam, it can be whatever you want. Um, if I just click this, for example, you can see um, it's picked up my webcam here and it's created this new little box that I can drag into my scene, but I've already done that beforehand as such. Cool. So we have our webcam loaded in our scene now. We can move this around, resize it, do whatever you want with it. But what we want to do is get rid of the green screen. Now, the thing about a green screen, the main thing is you need some sort of a background color that is uh, not similar to anything you're wearing or anything that you want to show on your video. Otherwise, it will disappear as well. Um, it doesn't have to be green. It can be like bright blue pink or something, something that is just really easy to distinguish from what the subject is having on them and what color they are. And for me, for example, it can be a really cheap thing. So this is a material that I literally just have hanging behind me. Um, it's just a green material that you can use. Um, you can find uh, some cloth or anything. Uh, it doesn't have to be an expensive uh, thing to do to create a green screen. So what you want to do to uh, to actually remove the background is go to filters. So what you want to do is right click on your webcam, go to filters, and then when you go to filters you'll see there's audio and video filters at the top and effect filters at the bottom. We're going to be first focusing on the effect filters. You want to click the plus button in the effects filter, then you want to click chroma key, and click OK. And as you can see, it's automatically, as soon as I've done that, it has already sensed all the green areas. So all this gray area distinguishes areas of green. Um, you can change this for other colors, such as blue. Um, as you can see, it thinks a lot of things are blue, magenta, uh, custom. You know, you can do your own custom colors as well to pick the color of your background that you want to disappear with. I'm going to do green because that's what I have. You have tools such as this, so similarity tools. So uh, what this will do is pretty much what tolerance does it have to get rid of the screen um, playing around with this you can get stuff like such as harsher edges you can bring the green in a little bit more if you need to fine tune but I'm quite happy with the default right now bring it in like so you got things such as smoothness or harsh harsh gives you much more of a harder line some people like that stuff but I'm not really a fan um, but yeah, like a little bit of a middle ground here. Your key color spill reduction. So this is more of like, you see how sometimes on the edges you see a little bit of green. Clicking this will fade the color out a bit, bring it across a little bit more, give you a bit much of a nicer little finish. You got the opacity level as well. Uh, you can see the opacity uh, in regards to how it's appearing in here. You can see that it's already removed the background. I got a black background here. And I'll show you later as well with a different background. And of course your regular contrast, um, brightness, etc. Your regular color correction and a little bit of image tuning. But for the sake of the story or tutorial, I'm quite close to default. I'm quite happy with this. You can see it's kind of cut out the background quite well. Um, one thing you will notice though is there's this really annoying little bit of green part here. Uh, a little bit of sheen going on here. This is because my green screen actually kind of cuts off at the bottom down here. Uh, yeah down there and so to fix that kind of stuff it's really easy to do so, um, what you want to do is click on your video scene or click it down here so you get your transformation box around it hold down alt on your keyboard and then click one of the resizes of the box and now what that does is allows you to crop your scene so you can box yourself in if you want to uh, if your green screen isn't that big you have edges coming out or maybe it's a little bit messy on the sides and it's unnecessary space being wasted you can easily do that 
and now we have this um, background cutout. Uh, just for the sake of this example, I'll add an image in the background so you can see that we've actually removed the background quite nicely here. So I'll go OK, browse for an image here. We'll go to downloads real quickly. We get this little nice little GIF here. That's a really nice little GIF here. We'll open it up. Uh, what you want to do is drag it below your webcam layer down in the sources tab here. And then you can drag it behind you. You know, we can move ourselves around. Got this really cool little little shot here. Um, the cool thing about the green screen filter in OBS is as well is that it doesn't need to just be a webcam that you can apply it on. You're able to get um, other assets that such as I have here, um, such as this helicopter assets helicopter gif here. You can see it's a green screen background. Simply get this off Google here. Right click on it. Filters. Chroma key, OK, as you can see, green default picks it up quite nicely. And there you go, you've got a helicopter going around as well. You can put that in front, depending on how you want to layer it, um, resize it, etc., etc. Play around with it, have some fun with that green screen. Well, that brings us towards pretty much the end of the tutorial. Hope that helped you out in setting up a green screen in OBS. Hopefully, you're able to use that in your video conferencing or streaming, etc. Hope everyone's staying safe. Uh, take care, and as always, I bought one, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.